guys, welcome to Gavin Gaming TV, and welcome to what we usually really do. And that is a quick look at Photoshop. Now this is the Photoshop beta. Yes, after 20 years, I have a legit copy of Photoshop. And this is damn impressive. So you may have seen the algorithm stuff. Where it AI generates new parts of the screen. So what I'm going to do is right. I've expanded this image out. Look, you can see this is four to five. By the way, and that's my gorgeous GT40, or just four GT in it. I'm going to highlight this side here. Right. We're going to generate fill. I've only just installed this on the main PC, so I'll have to agree to a few things and whatnot. But just wait and see what happens. Now, don't forget this is a game. All this environment is fake. I see what it generates. Now, you'll get three options. Look at that. Now, we need to figure out how to sort this line out. But look at that. You get one, you get two, and you get three. I actually quite like that one myself. And that's generated from the game. Now I'll see if I can heal that one line out of it and all, maybe. Hmm. It's the way I've selected it, I think. So I need to have a look at that. But that is just crazy. Right, so I'll delete that layer. Oops. Oh, the wrong buttons, right. I mean, that is just nuts, isn't it? Let's see if I can just over select it. Oh, it's... I don't know how to get it blended nice. Let's see if that works over selected. I don't think it does. But... That's basically taking information from the image it sees and then using AI to generate what isn't there. Oh, there you go, that's a lot better. I mean, how amazing is that? That's one. That's two. That's three. Them rocks look a bit funny. Uh, I really like that one because of the mountains. I love that one too. I mean, that is amazing tech. Now, that's not all it can do. Watch this. Uh, let's have a look. You go edit sky replacement. Oh, this is mental. That's because I accidentally clicked it. I'm not sure why it's only doing. One part of the way, I'll cancel that. Right, so say I like that, right? So we'll merge it all down. I'm looking layers, where's visible, right? So that is now a new image, like a widescreen. Again, edit, uh, sky replacement. This is absolutely crazy. Look at that. It's even tinged the lighting. To go with it, so you can change. Let's have a see. Them clouds are a little bit like what was there. So them ones. Stick. Look at that. And again, it just tweaks. The lighting slightly to match it. 
crazy. I mean, the fact that it air generated that was unbelievable. Now, you can also... Let's see if I... Do that. Generate a fill. Type in... Hot air volume. See what it brings up. I've done it a bit of a funny shape there, so I don't know if it'll do it to fit or it'll... Bend it out of it. <laughs> it's done it a funny shape. Well, there you go, there's three hot air balloons up. Or one big one. Well, that is pretty flipping impressive. <clears throat> Let's do. Wait, wait. If I do this. Say, uh, plane, see what it comes up with. I still can't go that AI generated background just from what it sees there. That is literally a game photo, it's not even a real picture. Look at that, just chucks a plane in there, no bother. Not a biplane. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Got a wing racing. But that's insane. And then I can just obviously it shifted to clouds there, but that is crazy. How well that has put that in there. And the fact that it's generated that and it looks you'd never guess that this road here, this part of the road wasn't in the game. You'd never guess that. Unbelievable. So, I'll try and open something else. Uh, I'll say this one may be a good one for it. Look at this. Now, these screenshots had the GPU thing running by mistake, so use the heel brush to get rid of that straight away. I love another new tool I've only just come across. So let's go. Out this way a bit. Do half maybe. Out this way a bit. I'm not sure. It showed in the, the thing, selecting both sides. I'm not 100% sure how he does that. If I'm 100% honest. Yeah. That's new to me, that. But I'll tell you what, we'll just generate a film this. And we'll see what it comes up with. Crazy, look at that. That's one, two, I think the third one looks a bit more natural. Well, the first one's not bad either, isn't it? I think the first one's a bit better with the sand up there. All right, and then we'll do this side. We'll have a bit more in, you see. We'll see what that does. You know what that's because we've got water in this, you see. So we're going to see how. Unbelievable. Look at that. Not quite as much texture in the rock surface, look. Look at that. It's just created a little pier. And the rock texture surface is a lot better in that one. For me, the second one wins it in that one. The texture of the surface there is a, a bit better. The water's continued on. But it's not like... 
It doesn't like copied and pasted anything. I've literally just created a panoramic view of a 1440p image I took in a game. Just added that. It's unbelievable. And the fact that you can type things in to to create other things. Um, right, for a laugh, let's see if I can do this. Generate Bigfoot. Just for a laugh, see what it comes up with. My image is a large foot. Again, it's AI and it might not know what Bigfoot is. Now, apparently, it has to have connections to the internet to do this. That's a woman. That's a llama. That's a donkey. So, we're a bit off on that one. Uh. Sasquatch? I don't know how to spell Sasquatch, but we'll see what that comes up with. I actually tried typing UFO in, and apparently it was telling me it was against uh, its rules. Well, that's interesting. But you can't put UAP in or UFO. Yeah, it's just giving me big animals. It's just supposed to good them off. Leave that later. That is crazy. So it will put, you know, people in and stuff as well. Uh, well, super impressive. Let's see if we can do... Um, Microsoft Flight Sim 1. It will go... Across here like this. This is what it always seems to show. Hoping this is gonna work. It's a bit hit and miss as well. Look at that. Beautiful northern lights. Yeah, there's a there's a miss. But two spot on, and one's pretty spot on. It should really. Okay, we might look up. Uh, you like that one better, number two. Yeah, the the AI generation is absolutely insane. Um. I don't think I have anything with people in because I think it's weird. Oh, actually. Here's an interesting one. Here's Spider Man. Let's see what it does with its arms. I'm going to tell you what it is, what's going on. I'm just going to say generate. See what happens. This is a Phantom Man remastered for the PC. Awesome, awesome game. Finished it, and we've just got Miles Morales. So, the mean, uh, man does it. Um, I'll take that. That's giving a really long arm, but yeah. Who's got a hand coming in? It's a really long arm. That's quite impressive. Buildings and everything behind are pretty. That one's a wee bit wobbly, but the buildings look. That one's not perfect, but get away with it, like. Let's see what it does with. Generate. 
See if it brings it out a shot or it creates a handful out too. Oh, that's really well, one's a miss on that one. Yeah. I'll say you could sort this out down here. No, well, that rolls better. I don't know what's going on down here. I think two will probably work with a wee bit of tinkering and tweaking. Well, that's pretty cool. Then I could do, I don't know, that's what it does on the thing. Do that and tell it generate yellow road lines and see what it does. Something similar to that, help. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, uh, darken that down a wee bit. It'll be pretty good. Obviously, you can give it thumbs up and thumbs down to assist. Uh, AI. Obviously, the more you tell it, the more it's going to learn. The better it's going to get, which is pretty cool. That is just crazy. Anyways, I thought I'd show you a quick one of that. Because that is, especially the sky change. I mean, let's see if we can do a sky in this one. Yeah, just walk. You can go and tweak around. Like, which is not so fun. Mess about with it a bit. It's very impressive. War gone Pretty cool. Seems to change much more. I'm still a noob at this. But yeah, very, very impressed with the AI generation. It's good fun to mess around with. Very good fun to mess around with. Let's do one more for a laugh. Oh, darn it. Let's go. Let's see if it'll generate a bad guy. Uh, Doc Ock. God knows what we're going to get with this, but we'll try it. Didn't recognize. Uh, okay. Let's do Green Goblin. <laughs> well, I suppose. Uh, more aliens than else. That will not an acceptable bad guy to fight against, will it? Well, it is impressive. Very impressive. Let's try. Iron Man, see what it comes up with. This could be an interesting one too. Yeah, I don't think it's obviously... Yeah, no, I don't know what that is. No, that's some weird dude. Yeah. So it's not actually... I don't think it's looking online. 
to find these because if it was it would generate iron man you know what i mean so i'm not sure I'm not sure why it needs a uh, internet connection for this but Work in progress, I suppose this is the beta, but this is pretty impressive so far with the AI stuff. Asking it to do stuff is a little sus, but it takes tweaking, and again, the more people try it, the more people give feedback, the better it's going to be. So, yeah, that, guys, is a relook look at the new Photoshop beta and the AI stuff, which is amazing. I mean, you can even replace entire backgrounds and stuff now, which just... Hey guys, so, quick addition to one of the Photoshop stuff that you've seen. I was messing with it on my laptop the other night, and I found... Um, I guess I didn't find out, I suppose I just didn't think about it at the time. So, it's a blank page. Watch this. Sunset... Mountains, rivers, and waterfalls. Now watch what it creates. This blue, I must have been about two hours last night just thinking of things to create. This literally just means you don't have to go anywhere to take a photograph ever again. Look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Option three, absolutely stunning. So that is amazing. You might need to tweak little bits of it here and there, but you can either regenerate something that, or use like your uh, hot healing brush and stuff like that to tweak little bits. But there are um, so. Here is here's another one that I thought was a a really mad one, right? Um Alien Surface with let's say Purple Sky and Mountains. Let's see how this one goes. I might need to put Alien Planet. I can't remember what I put last time. Look at that. There's one. There's two. There's three. So there you are on an Alien Planet with Purple Sky. How mad is that? It will literally generate anything you want now. Anything you want. Even even cities, what's this? Um uh, Neon City with rain and a lake. So you can do futuristic artwork or anything on this now and AI will generate pretty much whatever comes into your noggin. It doesn't take long at all. Look at that. Got the reflections perfect in this water and everything. One. Two. There's three. Absolutely amazing. Right, let me do one more. Uh, Let's just try this one and see. And then I'll go back to um, the regular programming. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this create stuff completely from scratch look at that there's your rain see that 
not really as rough a sea as I want, but oh, there's, there's a good one. Look at that. And that's completely generated. And then you could go in there and tweak that. You could have a ship. You could do this. You could do that. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I composed a picture the other day of underneath the sea, a sunken ship and a diver. And you composed it all there. Everything was there. Sunken ship was the correct colours for being under the water and everything. Absolutely unreal. But yeah. Just wanted to quickly show you that, guys, that um, this AI stuff from Photoshop and Adobe is amazing. And just the only limit now is your imagination by the look of it. Right, so back to the reel. Thanks for watching. Blows my noggin. But yeah, that's cool. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Please that subscribe. Please that we bell ding ling ling. Little helps. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, guys, so I can get upgrades, do more for reviews, etc., then there's a link down below for Gabby Gaming TV merch. You'll see it's like on the screen at the minute. Um, if you do not wish to purchase anything physical, there's also a link for PayPal. And again, everything goes back into the channel, guys. And I shall thank you and leave you to it. I'll see you later.